This video consists of assay of dapsone by uh, diacetizationizationization ion reaction and the end point determination is by starch iodide paper. It also discusses standardization of sodium nitrite solution using sulfanilamide. So dapsone is primary amount containing compound and it is useful in uh, leprotic treatment therefore it is uh, very important to assay this compound and also it is uh, done by the help of diacetization reaction diacetization is done by using sodium nitrite and HCl So the free primary amino group reacts with sodium nitrite NaNO2 and HCl and the important condition for this is 0 to 15 degree centigrade. The assay solution should be kept between 0 to 15 degree centigrade and the end point is determined by using iodide paper starch iodide paper starch iodide paper so what is the principle behind all these things uh, that we shall see estimation of drugs containing primary aromatic amine our tapsone is having primary aromatic amine and it is actually a yeah, reduction oxidation titration and it is otherwise famously known as diacetization reaction So how the end point is determined? Starch plus potassium iodide is impregnated on a paper. Now when nitrous acid is added to this starch and potassium iodide this iodide is released as iodine that is iodide potassium iodide is released to give iodine this iodine combines with starch to give blue color to give blue color so now you can understand what is the end point is determined how the end point is determined so uh, nitrous acid HNO2 reacts with potassium iodide to give iodine and which reacts with starch to give the famous blue color the famous blue color now one important condition in this that is the formation of blue color must be very quick in other words the formation of blue color must be immediate so that end point can be estimated as achieved otherwise the reaction is still going on now it is given here uh, sodium nitrite and HCl gives nitrous acid and this excess nitrous acid see excess nitrous acid reacts with potassium iodide to give iodine to give iodine and that iodine 
reacts with starch to give blue color so even if the uh, reaction of uh, uh, nitrous acid and drug dapsone is incomplete they will react this reaction will happen even if dapsone does not react completely so we must assure that the reaction is very fast and it is completed and the temperature is also very important 0 to 15 degree centigrade assay of uh, dapsone is uh, like this powder 20 tablets weigh 0.25 gram add in water and uh, hcl then cool the solution to 10 degree centigrade and titrate against sodium nitrite solution and that end point determination is as by the external indicator method it is by external indicator method now the reaction of uh, dapsone and uh, this one so this is the structure of uh, dapsone so it is having sulfur group and benzene ring so it is having amino group and it is having primary amino group and this amino group reacts with na note and produces rn2cl this r is our dapsone remaining part of the molecule so like this the reaction happens and initially we are preparing sodium nitrite and hcl and it gives nitrous acid and sodium chloride this nitrous acid is highly unstable it is highly unstable and therefore it must be kept below 10 degree centigrade and also the reaction must be finished very quickly the blank must be performed so we have to perform blank we shall see the preparation of sodium nitrate solution 0.1 m so it is very simple 7.5 gram dissolved in 1000 ml of distilled water so it is dissolved in distilled water and it is made up to the volume and it is used now the standardization so we need sulfanilamide uh, 0.5 gram then HCl uh, 20 ml and 0.1 m sodium nitrite so the before going into the procedure we shall see the reaction sulfanilamide this uh, nitrous acid coming from sodium nitrite HCl HNO2 HCl uh, NaCl and that is producing disonium salt and they have given the equivalence point and with this we only we have to find out the normality or molarity of sodium nitrite solution so it is given here the straw paste of starch iodide on a paper that will give you the uh, end point and also it has been noted slight excess of sodium nitrite must be added to the assay as well as standardization solution to bring about excess HNO2 then only it will be present to oxidize potassium iodide to give iodine and that iodine reacts with starch to give blue color 
so it is c oxidation of uh, uh, potassium iodide here it is hidden here that is potassium iodide plus hno2 gives iodine 2no and water so the procedure is y 0.5 0.5 gram of sulfonylamide add 20 ml of hcl 50 ml of distilled water cool to 15 degrees centigrade add ice for ensuring 15 degrees centigrade maintenance throughout the titration and titrate with slowly slowly see slowly with sodium nitrate solution take a glass rod dip into the titrated solution and place it on the starch sided paper it gives immediately produces distinct blue color and that is the end point okay so the uh, each ml of 0.1 n sodium nitrate is equivalent to 0.01722 grams of sulfonylamide so that completes the standardization